for watching that. Yep. All right. So we're caught up on comments. Dude, this freaking Forbes thing. Oh, my Christ. Yeah. A lot of people talking about it. And it seems like it, everyone wants to talk about the numbers. Everyone wants to talk. I'm like, hmm. So here's the thing. The Forbes financial statement about WWE and AEW and all that. Just I want to know where they got it from. I want to know where they get their numbers from. And, and do you know why I say that? I say I want to know where you get your numbers from because didn't Vince just sell this company for like $9 billion? So how the hell are you saying six? What? Well, maybe there's something that came out of there. Can you the uh, deals? I bet you could be maybe. part of that. $3 yeah. billion dollars worth of something? I don't know, dog. I don't know. Come on, man. There, there could be. There could be. You could be wrong. But then they're saying what was like 6.3, 6.8, something like that for WWE. <clears throat> AEW was at $2 billion. Mm-hmm. Where? I want to know the revenue stream. I really want to know the revenue stream on this. Um, hold on. I got to check something else now. I can't tell if that's the same one or not. I'll I'll have this one in the in the barrel in case I need it. Um, but so why are you saying AEW is worth two billion? Where does that come from? Like, where are they getting that that number from? Is it? And yeah, UFC was well, it was eleven. It was eleven point three or some mess. It was right. Endeavor just bought all this shit. TKO Group just bought all this stuff in the last couple of years. I don't understand where the numbers are. I just want to know where they're getting it from Forbes and how they're getting their numbers. Because when you look at I, I'm not trying to be a dick about it, but when you look at AEW, they move the crowd to not uh, you know, away from the hard cam side, so that way the hard cam is facing the crowd, not you know people sitting over there with the hard cam. And half the arena's damn empty, or a, a third, or a quarter, or whatever of the arena's empty. Okay, I guess you're still making money, but but how? Like, where is the money at? Yeah, so to get the actual uh, numbers here, it's eleven point three billion UFC. Their twenty twenty three revenue was one point twenty nine billion. Uh, WWE was number two with six point eight billion. Their twenty twenty three revenue was one point thirty three billion. Uh, let's see, top draws: Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Rhea Ripley. Uh, that's operated by Khan, obviously. Uh, AEW is number three with two billion estimated. Estimated revenue for last year was two hundred fifty million. Their estimated top- revenue. Hold up, stop. Time out. Flag on the fucking play. Shoot. Uh-uh. One point uh, three three billion for was last year's revenue for WWE, and this and last year's revenue for AEW was two hundred and fifty million. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I, I my point is being proven. Where are they saying that money is? Is that what they got in the bank? Because that's just Papa Khan's money that Tony hasn't snorted yet. Well, that's I mean, that is. Well, there's two billion plus the revenue. I mean, I guess they're doing the math. No, no, no. It's not two billion plus know. the revenue. It's not two billion plus because then that would well, be the revenue would equal up to what they say is two billion. Is what I'm saying up to. If last well, year's revenue was twenty five million, then what is their total as of right now? Or I don't know how the hell. I don't, I don't know, know, dude. I don't get it. I don't. That's I don't get it at all. Tommy Thank Scott you. says he thinks the show in Wembley really helped. It probably did, but I don't think it helped. Yeah, dude, that was a million dollar weekend or something. No, that's what that was for them. That was a million dollar gate or a million dollar door. And it was thirteen million. Yep. It was thirteen million. No, uh, I'm looking back. Uh, UFC was uh, 11.3 billion, is what I. Yeah, 11.3. I, I couldn't remember all the numbers, but either way, a million dollar weekend doesn't equal uh, two billion dollars. A million dollar week. Well, I mean, I, I, well you also got to think what well, into consideration with it, is there's also merch sales that's got to be a part of that too. Right? Okay, and there's also all the salaries you got to pay. And there's also all the travel and all the bullshit involved and all the production costs. Dude, wrestling shows aren't cheap, bro. 
Well, let's rephrase that. Good wrestling shows aren't cheap. Good wrestling shows aren't cheap. Good wrestling shows are not cheap. Good talent isn't cheap. Good announcers aren't cheap. Good cameramen aren't cheap. Good ring uh, uh, commentary isn't cheap. Good everything. Nothing's cheap. If it's cheap, it's not good. And if it's good, it's not cheap. That's the rule of life. Quality? you got to pay for quality. Yeah, that's it. Um, the next thing that blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. Yes, Redhead Witch. Totally agree. You get what you pay for. Ma'am, you are correct. I agree with you. Um, uh, caviar of indie wrestling. Bro, 